Hi friends, welcome back to Star Laboratory. If you are not a subscriber, first of all, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell button. Okay, today we are going to do the practical on tissue cutting in histopathology. Now let's see what are the requirements. A good working microtome and cutting knives. Well prepared tissue blocks. Then a floating water bath at 50 degrees Celsius. Then 30% alcohol bath. A cold plate or ice blocks. Clean glass lights. A diamond pencil. A needle and other related requirements. Okay, now let's discuss the principle. We can include two main steps under this tissue cutting. So first one is the tissue trimming and second one is the tissue final cutting. The principle of the trimming is the removal of the wax layer above the tissue in order to expose the tissue completely to the knife. Then the second thing is the tissue final cutting. So the final cutting means the embedded tissues are cut into constant thickness in calculated microns thin sections ready to be placed on a slide. Okay now let's move to the method. Here I am going to use the rotary type microtome. So in the rotary type microtomes also there are two types. Uh, one is the advanced type and another one is the old type. In nowadays, the most of the histopathological laboratories are using this uh, advanced rotary type microtome. In this type microtome, we are using this uh, disposable tracer blades. But if we take this old rotary type microtome, it's not like that. Because uh, this uh, knife is not disposable, so there's large uh, solid knives can be used here. This type of knife can be reusable. We can sharp again and again and we can reuse for this purpose. Okay, now let's see how can we use this advanced rotary type microtome. In this microtome, we are going to use the two separate plates. So one is for the trimming and another one is for this uh, final tissue cutting. So a blunt knife can be used for the trimming and a very sharp knife should be used for the final tissue cutting. Okay, now we can fix this uh, trimming knife on the knife holder. Then now let's adjust this uh, knife angle. Here we need to have a well prepared wax blocks to fix on the holder in a firm position. Before to fix this wax block on the holder of the microtome, the wax block should be cold enough. So therefore we can use this uh, cold plate or uh, ice block for the cooling. Okay, now let's adjust this uh, trimming angle. Normally 25 micrometer to 30 micrometer can be used for this trimming. So I am just uh, adjusting uh, to 25 uh, micrometer. When we are started to do the trimming or tissue final cutting, everything should be kept in a firm position. The tissue wax plug should be fixed firmly on the holder. Then the knife should be fixed firmly without loosening. Then other all adjustment should be fixed firmly. Okay, now we have adjusted the whole adjustments. So now let's do the trimming. When we are working in the microtome, always uh, we have to follow the SOB, that means standard operating procedure and we have to move one by one according to the SOP.
Camel care brushes can be used for this cleaning purposes because the brush should not be damage the knife and other parts of the microdrom. Now we have almost uh, finished this uh, trimming. So now let's uh, move for the tissue final cutting. So for this tissue final cutting, uh, we have to change that uh, trimming blade. So we have to use this uh, cutting knife. The cutting knife should be very sharp. So then only we can get a thin section. Here we can use uh, 3 to 5 micrometer for this uh, tissue final cutting. So now I am adjusting uh, 4 micrometer. Then carefully we do these uh, adjustments, then we do the tissue final cutting, same like this trimming. The flywheel of this microdome it should be rotated rhythmically to get a thin section. So therefore a good experience is needed uh, when we are working this uh, microdome. After getting a good ribbon, we should take out the ribbon with the help of this needle and transfer it into a 30% alcohol bath. But uh, here I am not using this alcohol bath, I am just uh, directly putting it into a uh, 50 degree Celsius water bath. According to the standard operating procedure, we had used the 30% alcohol bath to get a good results. But unfortunately, I am not uh, using here. Then with the help of a needle, carefully we should do this tissue orientation in order to select a good tissue to fix on a slide. Okay, now we have selected a good tissue for this uh, fixation. So now let's uh, take out these tissues with the help of a clean glass light. After that uh, we should do a correct proper labeling with the help of this diamond pencil. So that's all, we have almost finished this tissue cutting. So after that uh, we keep these uh, slides on a cord plate in order to melt this wax. Then we continue this uh, process with staining. Okay, now let's see how to use this old rotary type micro tong. Here the principle and the mechanisms are same in both old type and advanced type rotary micro tong. But the only thing the difference is uh, the micro tong knives. In this old type, a large solid reusable permanent knife can be used here. Okay, now let's do this trimming. So here also we can use the separate knives for this trimming and tissue final cutting. A blunt knife can be used for this trimming and a sharp knife should be used for this tissue final cutting. The trimming angle are same, so we can adjust 25 to 30 micrometer. Okay, now let's uh, move to the tissue final cutting. So same as the usual, we have to use uh, 3 to 5 micrometer for this final tissue cutting.
the care and maintenance of these microtomes in the laboratory is very very important so therefore after using this microtome we should remove all the knife and we should wipe out carefully with the help of Hamel care brushes Then finally we should keep this uh, knife in a wooden box in order to protect from mechanical damages. That's all for today and thanks for watching. So after watching this video please give a like, share it, subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell button.